Tanish, could you please introduce yourself? Who are you? My name is Tanish Abraham. I'm nine years old, and I like all kinds of sciences. And uh, do you have any siblings? Yes, um, here's my sibling. Her name is Tiara. She's um, six years old. She supports me, and she and uh, comes to all the stuff I like to do. There were some very exciting news in the world of physics. What what happened? On July 4th, Independence Day, um, scientists have announced that the Higgs boson has been discovered. Higgs boson is basically a particle that is missing in the standard model of particle physics. It was discovered in Geneva, Switzerland, in CERN's LHC, the Large Hadron Collider. It's the biggest um, particle accelerator in the world. The standard model of particle physics actually um, is divided, like has two groups, fermions and bosons. And the fermions and bosons are actually classified based on its spin. Basically, spin is like the angular momentum in, uh, a particle has. All fermions have like a like a fraction, fraction spin, while all bosons have a whole number of spin. What is this about the, the God particle? Is that the same thing as the Higgs boson? So basically, the Higgs boson can explain why um, all these particles have mass. Without it, we would be massless. Everything would be massless, so that's why they call it the God particle. Do you think kids need to learn about astronomy first and then particle physics? No, maybe you should do it the other way around if you want to learn about astronomy. The fundamental things is like physics and particle physics. Einstein's general theory of relativity, the conservation law of energy and angular momentum. Those kind of um, things you, um, you need to uh, learn before you, um, you can do astronomy.